Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. I'm a sauce person, therefore I'm saucy. <laughs> no, seriously, I enjoy making sauces. It can be anything from the French mother sauces, aiolis, to others. By now, you must know how much I love Mexican cuisine, right? Okay. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, and to highlight the event, I couldn't resist sharing another incredible classic. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my salsa verde. Mm. This sauce is packed with deliciousness. With a combination of fresh ingredients and seasonings, this recipe is always so welcome. It can be used as a topping or simply enjoyed as a dip with tortilla chips. So my friends, let's get cooking. Here are some of the ingredients we'll be using. They are tomatillos, which the prep is quite straightforward. Peel off the husks, then wash them. Easy peasy. I have Anaheim peppers that are somehow mild, but to kick it up a notch, they are a couple jalapeno peppers. There's a nice big white onion along with a few garlic cloves. I have six big ones here. Now, yellow pepper is not a traditional ingredient for salsa verde, but I like to add it. It gives some sweetness to it. All right, so before we move on to the barbecue, we'll have the tomatillos, but not this way, that way, lengthwise as they will hold their shape better and stay juicy, okay? Next, in a large bowl, we'll add all the vegetables, including our unpeeled garlic cloves. And then we'll add a couple tablespoons of canola oil. We'll gently toss the ingredients until nicely coated. We don't want to have them soaked in too much oil, but if you think you might need more, add a little, okay? Now, let's move on to the barbecue. When the temperature reaches between 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll transfer our veggies to a grill basket. For the tomatillos, we'll place them flesh side down, but we'll keep an eye on them as we don't want to lose the juices. We'll close the lid and grill for a few minutes. So, five minutes later, we'll flip the veggies especially the tomatillos, and continue grilling for another 15 minutes, always with the lid closed. Now, a quarter of an hour later, the tomatillos should be quite soft. Therefore, we'll remove them from the grill and transfer it to a bowl. We'll flip the other veggies, close the lid, and grill for another 15 minutes. When we return to the barbecue, some vegetables might be soft and charred, so we'll transfer them to the bowl along with the tomatillos and continue grilling the others until they're all done. From start to finish, it took me roughly an hour and 20 minutes. Next, we'll transfer our beautiful charred veggies to the bowl of a food processor. Oh, and let's not forget to remove the paper from the garlic, right? To this, we'll add granulated sugar, just a little, followed by ground cumin, I love that spice, mm. then ground sea salt, some freshly ground black pepper, which I like to use quite a bit, but use as much as you like, a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lime juice, and finally, cilantro, lots of it. I put in some stems as well. It's okay because just like parsley, they have flavor. So we'll process until the ingredients are well combined and let's not forget to clean the sides of the bowl. We'll process again, but not too much. We want a sauce, not a soup. Like I always say, we'll taste and adjust if necessary. It might need a touch of salt, maybe more lime juice, and what better way than using a tortilla chip? 
When we're happy with it, we'll transfer the salsa to a bowl, cover, and chill for three to four hours before serving. And my friends, this is our salsa verde. This Mexican green sauce is packed with deliciousness. With a beautiful combination of fresh ingredients, roasted on the barbecue, along with seasonings, this is an amazing condiment to enjoy either as a dip or a tasty spread. I hope you give it a try soon, and be sure to visit cupfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!